Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on matrix operations in python by intellipath in this session you will learn all about what are the different matrix operations which is performed in python so without further wait let's start the session but before we begin the session make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us hello everyone and welcome to intellipack in this video i'll be introducing the concept of matrices using python programming language now let us take a look at the agenda for today's video firstly i'll be introducing the concept of matrix i'll be defining what a matrix is and i'll be giving out a list of applications in which matrices are used in the real world next i'll move on to uh, how to represent a matrix in python language and this will be a hands-on section followed by how to implement matrix using the numpy library numpy library is an open source and uh, free uh, package that is available and this will also be a hands-on session and after the hands-on i'll be concluding this video now that we are clear with the agenda for today's video uh, without any further ado let us get on with the video matrix definition matrix is a set of numbers arranged in rows and columns so as to form a rectangular array the numbers are called as elements entries of the matrix and when it comes to programming the elements can be any object including numbers characters sequence of characters or uh, called as a string it can also be images or other matrices and it can also be dictionaries as well basically any object uh, which is there in python so below we have an image uh, which represents a matrix so in the example below we have three rows and four columns and uh, the matrix dimensions are given by three cross four now let us uh, see some of the applications of matrix in the real world firstly uh, the contact application on our uh, phones which we use in our daily life has a lot of contacts these contacts are stored in the form of an array when we add or delete a contact it is similar to inserting slash deleting an array so the second application is the songs playlist you would have used the songs playlist in a music player so this also uses the uh, matrix data structure next we have uh, used an online ticket booking system whether it be for flight booking or uh, movie booking etc if a user wants to book a seat in a movie theater let's say he likes the seat a9 so the array to uh, include this seat becomes seat of a comma 9 or seat of 1 comma 9 etc so the next uh, application uh, we have is uh, while using adobe photoshop so the graphics software adobe photoshop on your personal computer uses matrices to process linear transformations to render images a square matrix can represent a linear transformation of a geometrical object so matrices are used in adobe photoshop and in physics related applications matrices are used in the study of electrical circuits quantum mechanics and optics and finally engineers use uh, matrices to model physical systems and perform accurate calculations needed for complex mechanics to work now let us move on to uh, representing a matrix and this will be a hands on in order to represent data in the form of a matrix in a programming language that is in case of python we have to use the array data structures in specific we will be using a two dimensional array to represent a matrix now let me just open my code editor python has a module dedicated to the arrays named as array uh, with a lower case so you will have to import this package or module uh, by using this statement in order to create an array you will have to follow the syntax uh, which is given below that is i've commented it out so this is the syntax uh, to create an array and uh, the array function array of uh, takes in two arguments uh, which is type code type code is nothing but the type of data you will be storing in the array and the initial values of the elements in your array is the second argument now let us look at an example uh, matrix so this statement uh, i have in uh, initialized a variable and uh, use the array function so the first argument will be small i small i in this case uh, indicates uh, to the python compiler that uh, we will be using uh, signed integers as our uh, matrix elements or array elements in this case so my array will contain three elements uh, that is one three and four next i'll be printing out the array uh, let us see the result now let me just save it and uh, run it so as you guys can see uh, the output is uh, one two and three and it is of type uh, signed integer which is represented by small i and it is of type uh, array the data structure is of array type okay let me just uh, give you guys another way an alternative way to create uh, arrays in python let me just clear the console or the terminal so the alternative way to create a matrix uh, in python is to use uh, lists 
we can create a list of a list as a matrix and i'll be showing uh, with an example so here there is no need of importing any modules uh, lists are our default uh, uh, package which comes with python installation so a is my matrix and inside my matrix i have a 3 cross 4 matrix and uh, the elements i have put it here uh, the elements are as follows in the first statement i'm printing out the matrix a the old uh, the complete matrix and in the second statement i will be uh, printing out just the first row uh, i mean the second row here uh, because the index starts from zero and a of one uh, means the second row so the second row will be printed by the statement and in the third uh, statement uh, i will be printing out uh, the element which resides in uh, the second row and third column and in here in the last statement uh, i'll be printing out the first row the element in the first row and minus one here represents the last element. So this basically means the last element of the first row. Now let me just save it and run the code. So in the output here, uh, the first result is the whole complete matrix. And uh, the second result is the first row, which is sorry, the second row, which is five, eight, nine and zero. And the third output will be um, the third element of the second row, which is nine here. And uh, finally, will the output shows 12, which is the last element of the first row. That is uh, the index zero. All right, uh, now that we know how to initialize uh, matrices using uh, 2D arrays in Python, let me just uh, give you a pointer. So creating 2D arrays or matrices using the array module and performing operations on these arrays becomes a complex task for a non-programmer. Let's say you are using uh, the array module by importing uh, array and or uh, let it be you are using the lists uh, built-in uh, data structure here in Python. So for you to perform uh, complex calculate complex functions like uh, let's say transpose of a matrix or dot product of a matrix it becomes complex for a non-programmer and therefore we use a package called numpy which has built-in functions for the creation of uh, multi-dimensional arrays and performing various operations on them now let us move on to the next section of this video here i'll be showing you how to uh, implement a matrix using the numpy library which will be a hands-on okay numpy is basically a library for a python programming language it adds support for uh, large multi-dimensional arrays and matrices along with a large collection of high level mathematical functions uh, which can uh, operate on these arrays and uh, matrices now let us take a look at an example so in the first line i have imported the numpy package or uh, you can uh, download the numpy package in using the pip installer you can just type in pip install numpy and uh, the python shell will uh, download uh, the numpy package for you you can do it in the terminal here as well so after you are done downloading the numpy package uh, you can move ahead with the program they so have declared a a, a matrix a variable called a and i'll be storing a matrix uh, three cross three inside it and the elements will be as follows one two three four five six and seven eight nine so in order to create that matrix you need to use a function called array uh, which is included in the numpy uh, package array of and then you will be opening a square bracket and inside that you can add uh, how much ever dimensions of uh, matrix you need so and then i'm printing out a and then i'll be creating another matrix b and i I will be adding uh, elements inside it and these elements will be of uh, type float so if you just add in a float uh, floating point number let's say 1.5 the whole matrix that is the type of the whole matrix will be converted into float so in the next statements i'll be printing out the b matrix and finally i am creating another matrix C and inside it I am giving in two arguments so array of function will take two arguments uh, the first argument will be the elements itself and uh, the second argument will be the type of the elements you can exclusively tell the compiler uh, what type of elements you are storing using the D type is equal to and uh, the type of the element here so D type is equal to and uh, type of the element is our second argument so this basically says uh, we are uh, including complex numbers here so it will become an array or a matrix of uh, complex numbers and finally i'm printing out the c matrix now let me just save and uh, run this code okay the first matrix we have is a which is nothing but a regular matrix consisting of uh, integer uh, elements and b we have uh, floating point numbers and finally c matrix is a complex uh, number array and uh, the first part will be the real part which is 1.0 and along with that we have uh, 0.j which is our imaginary part 
All right. Uh, now that we are clear with how to initialize a matrix in NumPy, uh, let us see some of the functions uh, that the NumPy library has to offer us. Firstly, we have zeros and uh, ones matrices. So basically, a zero matrix is a matrix which consists of elements which are all zeros. And uh, ones uh, matrix is uh, an element consisting of all one elements. So let us see how to create uh, that in the NumPy library. So firstly, you'll be importing the NumPy package and you'll be initializing the zero matrix using the zeros of function uh, which will basically take in two arguments that is the rows and column of the matrix so here uh, my uh, rows is two and uh, the number of columns is three and i'll be assigning this uh, matrix to a variable called zeros underscore array and i'll be printing out uh, my zero array uh, using these statements next i'll be creating a ones array uh, using the ones of function that is ones of function uh, here i'll be uh, giving my row as 2 and uh, 3 as well. So let me just save this code and uh, run it. Here in the output we have uh, an, a 0 array uh, which is basically has 2 rows and 3 columns and we have our 1's array here and by default it will be a floating point array. Uh, now let us see how to add 2 matrices. Uh, you can add two matrices using the add off function or the add function uh, provided by numpy or you can simply use the plus operator that is a plus b here i have declared uh, a matrix which is a which consists of uh, two rows and three columns and i have uh, initialized b array as well and in the sixth line of code i have uh, given out the i've used the add function here and add function takes in uh, two arguments that is a and b uh, that is matrix a and b and finally i'm printing out uh, the c uh, matrix here so every uh, one thing to note here is that every function in numpy will um, give out or output a matrix so your output from this function will be a matrix so you need to store that in a variable so i've initialized uh, the c variable here and uh, i'm printing out c now let me just uh, save this code and run it so when you add a and b you will get uh, this as the re result that is it will basically uh, add in the corresponding elements that is one plus one which will be two and two plus one which will be three and so on Okay, now let us see how to multiply two matrices. If you need to multiply two matrices, you have to use the dot function provided by NumPy. So I have initialized two matrices using these statements A and B and I've initialized uh, another matrix C and uh, inside which the result of uh, the dot product of A and B will be stored and here i'm printing out c now let us see what the output of this will be so the dot product of a and b will be 2 5 3 and 7 or you can also call this as the multiplication of two matrices okay now let us see how to find the maximum and minimum element uh, of a matrix so here i've declared an array which is basically of dimensions 3 cross 3 and uh, the elements are 1 to 9 and i'm storing this uh, matrix in a variable called a and now uh, to find out the maximum element uh, in the matrix a i'll be using a function called as max of so i'm storing the maximum uh, the, res the result of the maximum uh, element with so in the variable max underscore element and similarly i am doing the same for the uh, minimum element so for the max uh, in order to get the max element you'll be using max of function and to get the minimum element uh, within a matrix you will be using the min of element and finally in the statement i'm printing out the maximum and minimum element now uh, let us see what the output will be so obviously from the matrix the maximum element is 9 and the minimum is 1 uh, which is shown in the output here. Okay now let us move on to the last function uh, that is provided by the numpy library. Here I'll be using uh, the transpose of a matrix and in order to find out a transpose of a matrix you need to use the dot operator that is dot t. So the syntax will be as follows uh, matrix followed by dot capital T which will basically uh, give out a result and uh, the data type of the result will be a matrix that is a two dimensional array and it will be stored in the variable uh, b which I have declared it right here and finally I'm printing out b now let us see if we get the output or not so the transpose of a matrix basically means you are uh, inverting the rows and columns you are inverting the elements in the rows and columns so 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, 7 8 9 becomes 1 4 7 uh, 2 5 8 and 3 9 6 all right guys these were some of the functions that is offered by the numpy library okay let us move on to the last section of this video uh, conclusion part 
Apart from the inbuilt functions in the example uh, that I have shown in the hands-on part, there is an extensive list of functions that can perform almost all the operations that can be performed on a matrix. So some of these functions are listed below. First we have uh, shape. Uh, this function basically describes the shape of a matrix. We also have size and it describes the size of a matrix. We have n dimension, that is it describes the dimensions of a matrix. Next we have the mean function, which calculates the mean of a matrix. And we have the VAR function, uh, which calculates the variance of a matrix. We also have uh, STD function, which calculates the standard deviation of a matrix. And we also have uh, flatten function. Uh, it basically flattens out a matrix into a one dimensional array. So a matrix is a two dimensional uh, array and uh, after using the flatten function, it will uh, turn it into a one dimensional array. These were some of the functions. You all, you obviously have many more functions in the LumPy library. You have more than let's say 50, so, but uh, all you need to know is a few of them and I've listed it out in, uh, in the examples above. All right, thank you for watching till the end guys. Have a nice day. If you want to make a career in data science, then IntelliPath has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts.